and welcome back guys to another Minecraft episode on the Adults Craft Bedrock server. As you can see we're just shooting down the hallway from the spawn island in the shopping district back to our base. And I thought I would bring you in a wee bit earlier than normal because I normally would go into the base just to show you my nether tunnel progress. So when you come down the boat tunnel we now have this lovely little porch patio sort of front entrance area where you can come in with your boat and park off the, the road so sort of made it into a wee sort of dome shape as well and then if we run along the tunnel you'll see we've got the sort of familiar patterns and then up the stairs that we had already but now are all decorated so we've got a lovely tunnel sort of shape to it and as we get to the top of the stairs you'll see that I've now got the, the room all sort of shaped out and decorated as well so on this side we have the original tunnel the sort of running pathway which i've now got this in as well for so we've got the wee step up and we've got this nice sort of quartz surround on the front of it too of course it spawn proofed everything and lit it up but i quite like the look of it i was sort of aiming for the sort of as if you were looking up through the centre of the big tower. And if we run down, we can get to the portal. And I, call, uh, I just love running down this hallway. It, it feels so good. Just something about the way the lights work. It just looks really cool. But anyway, we'll jump through. So if we come out... Oh, hello. We have diamonds. Five diamond blocks there. Um, yeah. I have a feeling these must be from Miss Frankie. Uh, um, she put in a custom order from the potion shop for uh, night vision potions and water breathing potions, and we kind of ended up just giving her a shulker box full of the two of them. So I'm guessing. She has decided to come and drop these off for us as payment. Massive overpayment, so I may go and might do her a mystery box of more potions as a, a thank you for that. But yeah, we'll maybe deal with that later on. But as you can see, the glass is now finished on the path and on all the walls just to link everything together you can see the sugar cane and the kelp and stuff um, it's all done so I'll tell you what let's jump over to our little our old little hobbit hole over here as you can see we've been getting visited by quite a lot of skeletal horses I think that's me up to about six or seven of them now So if we, we'll take a flight back over, well we won't, we'll just climb up the wall. So as you can see, oh yep, yeah, there's another one there. So I have now got the bulk of the landscaping done in this bit, I'm pretty happy with it actually. They've got it sort of terraformed out to a more natural looking area. If we jump up here, I'm growing some, I need some birch wood so I'm not growing them just now. but. I've sort of shaped it out a bit more so that it's more like an actual kind of pathway around here. We've got some flat areas. I'm starting to flatten that off to build upon that. So I'll probably have some kind of house up there. And then maybe a wee barn or something out on there. But the rest of it's going to stay fairly natural. We're going to have some trees and plants and such on this bit. But I'm not going to heavily populate it. Still got the carrots growing still using them uh, for trading and stuff so if we come in you will see we have some lovely new paintings which we've got more of I will show you them as we're going around but they are from Mr. T Snow on our network there's another couple out here 
he has developed this pack for us um, across the network. So there's loads on all of them. You probably spotted that one down there as well. We'll have a wee glide down. But these are fantastic. So that's obviously commemorating when all the fireballs came down and we lost our chicken. And same with the wanted poster and up there in the wee one. And we've also got the Adults Craft logo on one. And we've got a few more sort of dotted about. Yeah, we've got another one with the Adults Craft logo and we've got the... I really like this one. That one's going to appear in more places, I think. So, yep, as you can see, we've been doing quite a lot of, sort of tidying up and decorating. We've got another tunnel in the works down here. Just need to put the water and the glass into it. Probably extend it out a bit because it's only going halfway just now. So I need to run that one a bit further and I fell in the hole. Right, let's just jump out of there. So, and we have now got a stair design. So I'd I really like these corner pieces with the glass, but we've also got the quartz stairs in and we've sort of encased it in. Got the same over here. So this is what it'll look like with the water in it, just for the item transportation down in the central storage. We've been down here as well multiple times. That's just the drowned farm from the zombie spawner. And then we can shoot up the stairs here to the top level. Not much been done here, but you can see my collection of skeleton horses up here as well. So if we jump back into the tower, I'm getting there. I've done a wee bit more laying it out and stuff, but I've not. I need to get onto building it. We've also got a sneaky banner here that's been put in by somebody. So, uh, I think the map's pretty well up to date, yeah, just got a bit of stone to f cover with grass at the back there, but we'll get that done at some point. But if we drop back down to the main sort of level, you can obviously see that the entrance to my storage room has been updated quite a bit, We've got the same sort of theme running in here, and... I've only done the top half of it. I've not done the bottom because I'm not... I need to put more barriers on. I've not finished with the item filters down here because I've not got all the crop farms running in here yet. So I've left the decorating until I've done all that. So I'm tearing it all back out. But I've sort of raised it up one from the main tunnels. Might go up high in and do some kind of sort of light up design in the ceiling. Make it look maybe a bit more domed. I'm not sure how much space I've got between here and uh, up above, but we'll we'll see. Um, same with that back wall. I've not decorated that because that's going to have more storage in it. And but I have I'm pretty happy with the design on the shulker unloader now with the quartz and stuff. I'll probably try and pull in the sort of theme of the quartz running down somehow. I'm not 100% sure yet. I do need, that's why I was growing the birch, because I need these, because the idea is to have, well, I need another one there, but having them so I can get in and access to shulker boxes that can go on the back here, just for some even more bulk storage of things like stone and dirt and stuff. So I'll be doing that along there. I do need to replace these with some quartz stairs. But it's coming along quite nicely. It's obviously needing tidied up there as well. But I do quite like it. So next things on the list are probably getting in the processing plant over there. I have to do a melon and pumpkin farm that's in there. And I will need to get the chicken cooker back on the go. That's too noisy to stand beside. But I think we're doing pretty well. The tower's coming along quite nicely. I've got a few big holes in it because I'm trying to play around with having ways to get in and out by flight. But I think, yeah, I think we're pretty, pretty well 
But I think that'll do us for this one. This is kind of just a wee update of where we're where we're at right now. And I think next episode I'm probably going to go over to the shopping district and get working on that. So as always, if you'd like the video, do click that like button. If you're enjoying the series, do consider subscribing. You will get to notified with all my videos. And I will see you next time. Goodbye. Thank you.